Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Plinko Panic. It's just a game I can't stop thinking about. I don't know why I love this game. So, um, either way, the, the first episode we beat Caves 1 and Christmas 1. Second episode we beat Desert 1, Ocean 1, and uh, now we're going to just, I guess, start trying to beat the 2s uh, the here. So, Caves 2 is uh, boss HP is up 100 and enemy HP is up 50, which is uh, kind of uh, intimidating here. Um, so, okay, so off the bat, we're fighting a spider that's going to be dealing, you know, more damage every two turns here. And, um, I don't remember playing caves. I don't remember, um, you know, exactly the board. The board obviously always changes. So, um, what do we want to build here? So, if you don't know, we're buying, we're buying pinballs. We have money. We want to slowly be able to upgrade our shop here. Um, deals one damage per peg hit. Yeah, just a blunt pinball. You know what? Let's just, uh, let's just do some damage here. Why not? And I don't know if the board changes, like, from Caves 1, Caves 2, Caves 3. I don't know if it actually uh, changes here. Um, but if played before, a key pinball gives... Okay, you know, we'll lock a chest in hopes of finding a key. Hitting at least eight pegs heals you. Um, no, I'll just keep doing a little bit of damage here. I don't... I'm looking for things like the piggy bank or something that could give me a lot of money. That way I could upgrade my shop. Um, gives nothing. Paints pegs a random color. Gives one dollar per peg hit. Gives one dollar for extra. Gives an extra one dollar for every other peg hit. Wait. So what does that mean? So we're at one dollar here. How much? How much money are we gonna end at? Thirteen. Oh, here we go. Oh no, it's cheese. I thought the cheese was a was a was a key, a key. Um. Hmm. Okay. Just gets. Oh, okay. I forgot the basic pinball. Just gives you one dollar per per hit. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll upgrade the shop one time. Uh, yeah, let's start painting things blue. Why not? Let's just maybe... Oh, I did not paint much blue. Uh, deals one damage per peg hit. Applies this turn and next turn. Okay, let's do this. So this is going to do a decent amount of damage, but it's going to hit this turn and next turn. So we did... 18. It's going to do 18 damage next time. Um, restore one broken peg. Save any amount gained from a chest pinball allows for an extra turn wait saves any amount gained from a chest pinball allows for an extra turn to find a key oh i'm just gonna keep getting money honestly let's just keep getting money so we can upgrade our shop and we can actually find good pinballs seems uh it seems seems to be seems to be the play my aim's not the best um deal three damage per red peg see we need to start painting things deal one damage per default peg hit Heals one health per red peg. Okay. Maybe I should just keep trying to earn money. I don't know. The thing is, is this spider is going to be doing more and more and more damage. So, deals two damage for each blue peg. We have some blue pegs. Um, Just keep earning money here. And I broke a peg earlier. Oh, I'm going to break this. No, it's going to just disappear, I think, actually. Game is similar to Peggle. Yeah, it's like another one of these Peggle roguelikes. Uh, just more money here. The music in this game is amazing, though. Like, better than it has any right to be. Um, okay, here we go. So, we're going to keep on painting the right... I want... Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, piggy bank. I like the piggy bank. So, it's going to earn us a bunch of money next turn. Um, deals one dam... Oh, spider's starting to do a lot of damage. One damage per peg hit. Gives nothing. Paints. Okay, let's just keep painting things blue. I'm going to try to get this whole right side painted blue. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, we upgraded the shop here. Heals. Um, just a normal one here. Just give us some money. So let me upgrade my shop here. 26. Pumpkin ball. We just had uh, the Jack Orb Lantern and uh, Peglin. Now we got the pumpkin ball and this. Uh, lose one dollar for every peg hit deals two damage for every dollar. I don't want to lose money, but we need to kill this guy So maybe we lose some money here. Let's lose some money. Jack or Blanner take my money um, Cheese pinball Okay, maybe maybe we should heal up a little bit This is gonna heal us two every time it hit which we did not get very many hits there Deals damage equal to your shop level. Ooh, okay. Okay. We've upgraded our shop a couple times we, we need to kill this spider. His damage is scaling. Oh, 42 damage. Okay. Um, 
Every turn there's a new collection of items. Yeah, it's the shop. And we can upgrade the shop. And the part I'm covering is uh, the rarities. So as we upgrade the shop more, we get more and more rare uh, uh, orbs or whatever. Um, bobbles. Okay, uh, I probably should have done some damage here. Because, yeah, he's doing 19 damage. Um... Uh, deals one damage per peg hit. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, three. Just need eight. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, we killed him. Okay, so now we can take a relic here. Um, glass shards deal two damage for each broken peg on the board at the end of the turn. It's not a lot of damage. Increase the amount each domino pinball's been played. All food pinballs heal one health per every two pegs hit. Okay, let's just do food. Fruit basket. I don't know. Let's do food. Um, all food heal one health. Okay, food. Food, food, food. Deal two damage on red pegs. Um, deal one damage per peg. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's paint the left side green here. So we'll have blue and then green, maybe. Except this green's all the way there. That was kind of weird. Um. Hmm, what is this guy doing? So he's just scaling up damage as well. Deals two damage per default peg hit. Deal four if it was a cat. Deal two damage per default. It breaks green pegs. Let's just do a bobble and then hope to maybe find another bobble in the future. I don't know. Do we find a bobble? Nope. Um, give $10 for every five pegs. Okay. Here's how we're getting money. Come on. We need you at least to hit 10. Please, please, please. Nope. Did nothing. Nothing for us here. We're about to die here. Um... Donut pinball. Okay, we want food. Give one for every default peg instead. Okay, okay, okay. So we want just default pegs here. There we go. So we're going to heal up a decent about because it's food. We just want to keep doing food. Gives 50. Gives one less for every peg hit. Restore. Okay. Oh, it's pot of gold. I thought it was... Okay, restore one. Okay, okay, whatever. We're just doing this for healing. All of our food uh, things heal us. I hope that counted. Um, mouse, disco, pinball, 75 each time you hit at least one. Oh, that's, that's really hard. Okay. Bronze pinball is just giving $2 per. We need, we need to generate some income here. Ooh, that, those are decent bounces. Um, candy cane. Okay. We want a bunch of default pegs here. See, a candy cane is food. Oh, wait, this tells me... Wait, this tells me what orbs are considered food. Apparently, a candy cane isn't food, guys. If you thought candy cane was food, you were gravely mistaken. Gravely mistaken. Uh, two damage does four on blue. Okay, here we go. So this is for all the blue paint we have here. This could do a lot of damage. Yeah, that was a decent amount of damage there. Uh, button pinball. Three damage for every green peg. Nah, that did not bounce how I was hoping it would. Only did 12 there. My life has been a lie. 35 damage, one less per hit. Um. Okay, I'm going to save that bobble, maybe. I'm going to paint things blue here. Keep trying to... Is this even going to... That did nothing. Um. Deals one damage per peg hit, gives one dollar for every peg hit. So, pretty decent. Ooh, okay, broke a pinball. Um, deals two damage for each, yep, for every uh, blue. 16 damage. We need to get more money. Deal three damage for every green peg hit. Oh, gosh. How do I keep missing these? Um, okay, we're about to die. Uh, heal one for every two pegs hit. Can we, can we get some healing in here so I don't die? Okay, we healed the 12. He's literally about to do 12 damage, though. Um, I don't know about this, y'all. Uh, Reroll. Uh, I think we're I think we're dead here, y'all. I literally need to reroll until I get something. Okay, hitting eight pegs blocks an attack. Okay, okay, we just need to hit eight. Can we hit eight? I think we're still probably. St oh, we didn't even hit eight. Okay, we died. We literally died. Okay, let's try again. New new build, new run. Still in caves. So just a bat here. 
I don't know. We were yeah, we were struggling there. Yeah, and I don't I don't think that food thing was that great. Okay, paint. Okay, let's start painting things green here. A lot of green on the map. Oh, I like the piggy bank. Piggy bank's amazing. Oh, that this is gonna be a big piggy bank too. Oh my god, we we have broken so many pegs already. Um, deals damage equal to your shop level. We'll upgrade our shop one time. Let's start painting things red over here, maybe. So now we have 61. I just upgraded my shop again. It's pretty dope. Um, heal two for every yellow. Oh right, yeah, let's let's restore a bunch of broken pegs here. This is gonna restore broken pegs. It did not restore that one, but deal one damage per peg hit. Hitting a multiple of three pegs triples the amount. Okay, so if we if the number is divisible by three at the end, we're gonna do an absurd amount of damage. Twenty eight? Uh, nah, don't think that's divisible by three. Um. Deal one damage and heal one for each peg hit. It's pretty decent. Okay, 10, and then we're back to full. Restore all broken pegs. Yeah, let's do that. Because there's, there's three broken pegs right now. Um, okay, I'm going to save this chest. I'm going to right-click it and save it. Deal three damage for every red peg hit. Ooh, that's a good thing. Oh, nice. How much damage did you just do? 21. Um, gives one peg hit, gives an extra one for every other peg hit. Oh, I just, dang it. Okay, get a little bit of money. Ooh, piggy bank. We just want to earn as much money as we can. Because if we can get a crap ton of money, we get a crap, oh, another piggy bank. Dude, we're going to, we're going to just be rolling in it. going to be rolling in money. 90, upgrade the shop. Um, now this is either going to heal us or deal a bunch of damage. No, no, keep earning money. Screw it. Two, two dollars per money. Oh my gosh. Upgrade the shop again already. Um, okay. Restore all broken pegs. We'll do that. Kind of a waste of a turn, but I don't know if you have a lot of broken pegs could be really useful. Um, deals one damage per peg hit and gives $1 for every peg hit. I like the sound of that. Okay, 17 damage. We just earned 17. Uh, two damage per peg. Hit paints non-painted pegs a random color. Sure. Okay, so added a little yellow, a little bit of green. Um, we'll either deal three damage, heal three health, or give three per peg hit. So I think it's just it's gonna be a little bit of everything. Or it just healed us all. I think it switches every time. Um, 75 if we can hit one of everything. I'm going to just continue painting this part red. Uh. Uh, uh, $10 for every five pegs hit. Okay. So there's $10. We got... Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, we were one away from even more, but that's okay. Um, yeah, these message in a bottles are pretty good. Last time it healed us. I don't really need a heal right now. Nope, it healed us. Um, deals extra damage on green pegs. It could have bounced a bit differently, but 20 damage. Deal two damage per peg hit and it's extra bouncy. Oh yeah, that, that's like flying all over the place. I think we killed though. Bat's dead. Okay, so we could do the fruit basket. Balls that split now deal plus two damage per peg hit on top of their normal effect. Or we could make all broken pegs have a chance to be restored or the food. Let's try the chili pepper. So any, so I guess there's only two. There's a coconut, but there's other things that split, right? So why is it saying it only applies to those two? I don't know. Either way, we'll, we'll uh, lock this medium chest pinball. Uh, let's try to hit a bunch of green orbs dude i've broken so many that that hammer where it has a chance to restore stuff would be pretty nice but gives 50 one less for every peg hit okay that's fine that's fine we just earned uh 41 gold um heals two heals one health per peg hit so it's gonna heal us and give us money sounds okay um didn't really get much there Ooh, no we don't have any blue 
Um, you know what? We're just gonna do normal pinball. Give me some money. Give me some money. We're at 95. Dice pinball. This is a healing. Mm, deals three damage for every blue. Oh, man, a lot of blues. We'll just do a normal basic. I'd like to upgrade my shop again. 101. Oh, there's a cactus pin. Oh, no, no. Cactus pinball isn't isn't what it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to just upgrade. Screw it. We only have one. We only have one money. <laughs> but we have upgraded, though. Okay. Oh, here we go. Angel, restore all broken pegs. Heals four for each one. Yep. I like that. Get a, give me all of my broken things back, and we're, we're uh, fully healed here. Um... Okay, dice pinball. It's going to deal a bunch of damage. Come on, come on, come on. What's that, three? Okay, that was uh, 12 times three is 36, I think. I'm too tired to chat. I feel that. So this music is very relaxing. I can see it, like, putting you to sleep. Uh, deal five damage per green peg. Okay, hopefully we can actually get some of these green pegs here. Nice. Uh, it was okay. The 20 damage. Um, oh, get money and it's multiplied by the dice roll. Uh, six times four, 20. Um, deal 16 damage for every four pegs hit. Okay. That's a, that's a lot of damage actually. 22 damage. The dice are nice. They rarely let you down. Yeah, honestly. Um, cat and dog. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so deals damage, but it does more damage if the last was a cat. So we're going to play the cat, which is going to give us a bunch of money here. And then we'll play the dog, which is going to do a crap ton of damage here. Because, uh, we just played a cat. How much damage is about to be? Wait, wait, did I do that in the wrong order? Why did it only do four damage? What? What? Um... Deals three damage, gives three dollars per peg hit, but it flips the paint of some things. Whatever. 18. Oh, we finally got a watermelon. So it's going to do extra damage because that's the relic we took. So the watermelon and coconuts are what we want to be taking. 78 damage. Holy cow. Also, we are... Uh, this this spider has been uh, buffing himself quite a lot. Um, destroys all pegs hit. Does 100 damage per 10 pegs hit. Oh, we just need 19 damage. We just need 19 damage here. Also, I have destroyed so many dang pegs. This, this is going to kill the spider for sure. Okay. Um, flashlight randomizes the color of all pegs at the end of each turn. Deal one damage. So this is the pay to win one, which is really, really good. Uh, yeah, Wednesday we've been not only doing up gun. Uh, Ankh dodges a hit that would otherwise kill you once. Let's do the randomized colors. Heals two health for each painted peg. Okay, you know what? We got a lot of paint now. So what was that? 66. Um, deals one damage for peg hit. Instead deals half of the enemy's current health if pegs are... Okay, if this becomes a multiple of three... No, it needed one more and it would have done half. Um, give 75 if you hit at least one type of each. Okay, that's that's somewhat likely. So we've hit, we just need to hit a green. Hit, hit, <gasps> we got 75, we got $75. Oh, let's go, let's go. Yeah, see ya server. Um, okay, bunch of damage per blue. Heals on yellow. Deals one damage. Okay, try it again. Multiple of three. If we can get a multiple of three, it's going to triple the amount. 18. Um, okay, deal two damage. Okay, so blue and greens. It's damaging and healing depending on... Oh. Oh, yikes. Eight. Okay, eight damage per yellow hit. Okay, okay. Can we bounce them between the two? Come on, hit those bot... Ah, tw 22, something like that. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. There's the key. So we're gonna lock the chest here. F oh wait, if played after a chest pinball gives the amount earned by the chest. So we actually want to lock the key and play the pinball or the chest right now. So we want this to get a crap ton of bounces here. 
now we're gonna play the key. And now we're gonna get all that money. Nice, so we can actually upgrade the shop again. Uh, heals two for every painted peg, sure. We really need to repair the pegs here. Um, gives two dollars and heals one health per peg hit. You know what, it sounds okay. Oh, that's the logo. That's the logo right there. That's the logo of Plinko Panic. That orb right there. Um, man, see, there's not very many splitting orbs for that relic to be good. Um, give six. Each peg hit can only hit five non-blues before it dies. Deals one and heals one. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, get a little bit of lifesteal. And by that, I mean three. Deals five damage per red peg. Okay, we got some we got some reds over here. It's gonna it's gonna bounce in a weird way though. I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't have taken that. Okay, it bounced on that several times. So twenty five damage is decent. Um, bunch of money here. Extra money if it hits blue pegs. So I was able to hit those a bunch. Um, oh nice. Okay, so we have another chest and a key. Chest unfortunately did not hit much. How much money are we going to earn? 30? Um, oh, dude, this slime. The damage on this slime. Mm. Mm. Heals 25 health. Less for each hit. Heals us 20. Ooh, if this hits at least 10 pegs, deal 200 damage. Oh, but deals 20 less for every colored peg. Okay, baseball does a lot of damage. If we could just get it to actually... Never mind, it's 16. Um, gosh. They have so much health here. Removes paint from pegs, deals 10 damage for every peg that had paint removed. Oh. You know, that's actually decent because we're going to keep painting things. We only, we only hit 20. Okay, dominoes. Dominoes are the ones that keep uh, increasing in value the more dominoes you play. So might as well just get that played. Um, he's going to do us 18 damage here. Deal a bunch of damage per blue, sure. Yikes. Um, okay, see if we can bounce them between those blues a bunch. Oh, I didn't do anything. Um, dice? Dude, I need to repair... So, there's so many pegs destroyed. 54 damage. That rolled a six. Yeah, I can't. Oh, we got. Okay, there we go. We got. We got the. We got the thing. We repaired them all. Um, deals one damage amount is doubled for each red. Or I just want to do the dominoes, man. If you can get those dominoes early, the more dominoes you play, they're gonna be more and more valuable until eventually they're wild. Um. Similar to George not found. I have never heard of them, but I probably do. Maybe I don't know. Um, okay. Do a lot of damage, Mr. Baseball. 48 damage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just try to avoid this 22 damage in five turns. I think we should be able to avoid that. Gives 50 one less for every peg hit. Okay. Nice, so we got like 39. Um, gives two heals, two dollar, heals two health, two damage per peg. Nice, okay. All money gained plus 20% gives $15 at the end of each peg if no pegs were destroyed. Um, or heal one health. Oh, heal one health for every four painted pegs. Yeah, let's do that because we have to randomize the colors. So, I mean, we're probably going to have consistent healing, though. Are they updating this game? Because I feel like it has potential, but right now it's kind of meh. I don't know why you think it's meh. I mean, I guess that's your opinion. It's like, just... But I think this is, like, a very relaxing game. But it is still being updated. It's 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 uh, It just recently got a huge update that added all of the ocean levels. But I think it's very, very... Um, it's very relaxing and it's it's it, it hits like the auto chess type thing does four damage but does more if the last played was a animal pinball 
Is there an animal pinball that we could... Deals one. I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll one more time. It gets really expensive. Okay, a squid better count as an animal. Deals two damage per peg hit. Paints non-ranted. Okay, yeah. So it's just, it's just the damage here. This is some speed run controversy. Okay, so okay, farmer, farmer pinball. A squid better count as an animal. 80, 88. And the way you continue levels feels very detached when you finish something. I guess you unlock the next thing after, but still, I like the gameplay though. When you continue levels, do you mean like in this thing, or do you mean like the ascension levels? Because I kind of like it. So I'm just like that's all they are is like ascension levels, except the fact that there's like. Um, you know, different types of levels, so it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Uh, destroys all pegs hit. I don't think we want to be doing that. So yeah, we're just healing consistently with our combo of randomizing color and healing on the color. Deals five damage per yellow peg. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're gonna lock the farmer. We're gonna play the cow. Removes paint from pegs, deals four damage for each paint removed. Okay. Okay, 20 damage. Then we play the farmer pinball. So eight damage per hit on this farmer. We're, that was good. 104 damage. The game lacks some rewarding animation effects after defeating a boss. Yeah, I mean, like, I, it could probably use some more, like, particle effects, graphics. It's not, like, the flashiest game ever. Lock the key. Yeah, maybe I lock the key. Play a three and one pinball. Um, yeah, it's not like the flashiest game ever. I mean, I'll give you guys that. Um, I don't actually need healing pin uh, dominoes. This is just two damage per. All the other dominoes I'll play. Oh, also we are destroy. This pinball is so big that it's like destroying all of our pinballs. Just don't really feel the roguelike element too much. I mean, all the runs of this, you know, different, like randomization in this, you know? Um, I think the enemies could be a bit different. There could be a bit more variety in the enemies because they're all effectively the same. Um, and, but you have randomization in here. You have the permadeath. Um, got ascension levels. But I, I, I do, I do know what you guys mean. Like there, 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 there could be... There definitely could be something else here. We're gonna go save that sh shield pinball. This is just gonna give us four each hit. Um, we don't really need to heal. Um, four, four per, let's do that. That was a weird bounce. Um, okay, so now he's about to attack me. So if I hit 10 pegs with this, it blocks an, an attack. Actually, let's upgrade the shop first. Uh, it's gonna block all the damage and then it's gonna give us a dollar for every damage we blocked, which we got it, cool. Um, gives two on each green. Okay, yeah, just four, four gold per peg hit. We're getting close to getting our shop max upgraded. Um. Oh, did I get rid of the key? I must have got rid of the key. It's definitely more roguelike versus roguelite. And that's not a bad thing. Yeah, there's not any like out of game progression and stuff like that. But I do think it could use some more randomization per levels. I think the enemies, I will agree, kind of bland. Um. Some of the bosses tend to be kind of cool and unique. But for the most part, they all just infinitely scale damage in a s different way. Oh, here we go. We got a watermelon pinball. Finally, one of the ones that is the first relic we took because it's only watermelon or there we go. 72 heals three health per peg over healing deals double the amount of damage. Ooh, that sounds good to me because we're already almost at full health. Nice 22 damage. We could do another chili pepper ball. Okay. Yeah. Ball. Okay. We have two chili peppers. So here's the see, And th so this is the final boss of caves. And it still is just a damage scaler, you know? So I, I definitely understand where you're coming from there. I'm gonna reroll. 
Oh, okay, give me a bunch of money here. Come on, stay as a six or something. That was a two. Ooh, large chest pinball. Okay, we'll lock that in hopes of finding a key. Baseball pinball. We really want the coconut or watermelons. If we get a coconut or a watermelon, we're gonna... <gasps> watermelon. We're gonna do so much damage. Okay, come on. Break. Break open watermelon. That actually didn't bounce the best, but 108 damage. That's crazy. Okay, you know what? I think we give up our dream of upgrading the shop. Oh, watermelon. Let's go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, that was a good bounce. That was an... Um, 248 damage. Did we just get offered another watermelon? Oh, that's not going to break, is it? Nah. 80 damage. Another watermelon. What is going on? Yo. Okay. Once again, 72. Holy cow, though. Okay, we'll do a domino pinball. That was insane. This is the final boss. We just obliterated it because we got two, multi two of the, of the, 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 this whatever. Oh my gosh. We have destroyed like everything we've owned. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure that out, but that's okay though. I'm gonna just re-roll in hopes of uh, finding stuff like, oh my gosh. If played after a chest, double the amount earned by the chest and we have a large chest pinball. Okay. Now we don't have very many pegs here, so I don't know. How much money? So we have 41. Now we have 201. Holy cow. Chili only affects two pinballs, but the damage from these is nuts. Yeah, especially when you stack them like that. Okay, we're going to just use this to reroll to get what we want, quite honestly. Um, the rerolls stack. Oh, cactus. No, wait. Cactus pinball is not a watermelon pinball. But I'm looking to either repair my pegs here. Watermelon! Okay, come on. See, I don't, I don't have very many pegs anymore. Eight. It still still did a lot though. Okay, come on. Um, watermelon. <laughs> Let's try again. Watermelon. Watermelon. There we go. That's killed. Nope. Thirty. You know what? Time bomb. Actually, seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. We we should be able to time bomb here. Nope. Never mind. Okay. There we go. There's an angel. Get me back on my pegs here. Oh, it does kind of remind me. I haven't played one shot in forever. I never finished that game, but. Watermelon. Okay, we're going out with a bang, y'all. Oh! Oh, that's gonna do... Oh, I wanted to see how much damage I did. Oh, man. Okay, well, we did it. We beat Caves 2. We beat Caves 2. Oh, man, I clicked main menu, and it, like, completely, like, broke the game from my monitor. What is happening here? What is happening? I literally... Okay, there we go. Dude, I don't know. This game, maybe the resolution. I think it might have to do with this resolution being 640 by 360, even though we're not. I don't know. Either way, though, uh, we're going to play one more time. So we beat K uh, Caves 2. Let's go play Christmas 2, which uh, max health starts with 25 less is the quirky modifier on Christmas 2. So we got a reindeer. See, it's like a quirky reindeer, but the the uh, the reindeer, all the reindeer does is infinitely scale up their damage, right? And yeah, I kind of agree. That's that's not like the most exciting thing I've ever heard in my life, you know? Um, okay, we're just gonna try to earn a bunch of money with this weird golden Sonic ring or whatever. Oh, two piggy banks, dude. Yes, please. Let me let me go ahead and lock the one piggy bank. Give me the other piggy bank. Piggy banks are a great, great way early on to earn a bunch of money here to upgrade your shop. Oh, I cannot actually afford the other piggy bank. So we'll just do this. 31. Upgrade the shop. Um, piggy bank. Got a channel point prediction if you think I can beat Christmas 2. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um... Deal one damage per... We don't have any green. Okay, just two. Yeah, two. Just give me a crap ton of money early on. So we just earned 20. Let's upgrade the shop again. I already have it at level four. Uh, let's start painting stuff green. Green's a Christmas color. Um, Cactus pinball. Yeah, we'll cactus pinball. So it does damage this turn and next turn. Weird graphic settings break your monitor when you try to do anything. I think it might be something like that. Let's get another uh, piggy bank here. Don't you break that. Perfect. Eight. Um, deal one damage per peg. Hitting a multiple. Okay, okay. We want a multiple of three here. 
Multiple of three triples the damage. Nope. Dang it. Um. Okay, let's start painting this side yellow, maybe. So we have a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. Let's keep painting this side yellow, maybe. Get a real... Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, deals one damage per peg hit. Paints all pegs yellow. We can keep trying this here. Dang it. We painted one extra. Especially when you try to tab out. Yeah. Okay, deals one damage per peg. Instead, deals three per for each green. No, I wanted you to go to the left. I was still had a lot of pegs. 27 damage. That's not bad. Hey, I am. Oh, 50. Oh, this is this is good. It's 50 minus one peg each peg hit. So we hit 12. So we got like 30 something. Um, heals 25 health. Yeah, let's do that. Just get a little bit of a heal. So our max HP is 25 less because of Christmas. Deals three damage for every yellow peg. Oh boy, do I have a lot of yellow pegs. Not that I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hit them, but I mean, I have them. Uh, one damage, paint stuff green. Let's keep trying to paint this side green here. Okay, okay, got a couple of them. Um, $2 per peg hit. We just want some money. Just want some money. Upgrade my shop so I can actually get some good things here. Gives. Okay, let's try to get some baubles. I'm going to save a couple baubles. Deals one damage per peg hit and gives some money per peg. Yeah, I've kind of let this guy survive. Okay, I really want to try to kill him if I can here. Um, mm, okay, I'm going to upgrade the shop and we're going to just do one damage per. Which maybe I should have done the money. I don't know. Nine. Um, money. Okay, I mean, we should be able to kill him before the he does he does damage here, I would assume. Um, cat watermelon pitbull. Okay, that's kind of a little bit overkill, though, wouldn't you say? Um, three damage, Trevor Yellow. Yeah, we're good there. Don't break anything. No, no. Fifty-four damage. Okay, change all pegs to be randomly painted between two colors. The chili pepper. <laughs> uh, paints three pegs green at the start of each turn. Do we just do the chili pepper again? I don't know. Just do the chili pepper again. That was crazy. Oh, every time we go to a new thing, my my save things are not the same. But see, you know, this baby Yeti just scaling up damage. Okay, whatever. This is just going to give me $1 per yellow. It's actually probably pretty bad. Those baubles could probably be buffed. Um, okay, money. Money, 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 money. Maybe. Ah. Okay, piggy bank. I'll take a piggy bank. Nice. I'll take another piggy bank. Let me start leveling up my shop some more here, please. Ooh, it's gonna be a big piggy bank. Um, that would heal us. Let's just do some damage here. Just want to murder these people. This baby yeti needs to die. Fifty-four damage. Let's go. Oh, here's a coconut. Coconut pinball. We never got a coconut pinball. Or, I think we did. But, yeah. This is what's getting buffed due to our chili pepper. 81 damage. Wow. Wow. Um, removes paint from pegs. Uh, let's uh, re-roll one time. Okay. More damage for green. 25. Um, yeah. This is going to do damage and it's going to heal. We could use a little bit of healing here. Okay, we just need 10 damage and he won't hurt us. Um, restore all broken pegs. Deals three damage for every blue. Okay, deal one damage and give us money here. So we just need if we can if we can hit 10. Let's hit 10. Come on. No, we did nine damage. Oh, okay. Well, let me grind out some money here. Cause I just now need only to deal one damage. Okay. Um. Heal two for every painted? Yeah. Pretty sick. Oh, wow. We didn't heal much there, did we? Um, okay. Okay. So we're going to kill this guy. I'm going to paint those yellow. Okay. Rainbow heal. 
All damage dealt to enemies up 20% or has a 25% chance to teleport the pinball back to the top of the board when it reaches the bottom. It's literally like pumpkin pie. We just, so for those of you guys that are watching this on YouTube, we just recorded a uh, Peglin video where we got the new pumpkin pie relic and the new uh, jack o lantern and they're literally just already, the, these mechanics are already in this game. That's kind of funny. Either way, I'm going to do all damage dealt to enemies 20% because that could be really good with the chili pepper. Um, ooh, money, but gives us a crap ton of money for all the yellow things it hits, which probably need to restore some stuff here. Um, do, yeah, let's get some damage. Our damage getting upped by 20% seems kind of cool. It's going to do a lot of damage, actually. Um, deals one damage per peg. It restores broken pegs. Deals five damage for each one restored. What, does it have to, like, touch the thing? Or... I'm confused at how... Is it just restoring them all? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, bobble. Do extra damage on green. It's got a little bit of green. Oh, that's perfect. Broke one of them. Um, okay, we're gonna save a chest pinball. Let's try to get some money here. We're really close to leveling up our shop again. Okay, we're going to upgrade the shop. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're going to play the... No, I didn't I didn't save the key. I didn't save the key. Dang it. Yikes. Okay, whatever. 50 minus every peg hit. Okay. Um... Heals one health per peg, overhealing deals double amount, which we're not going to overheal, but it'd be nice to heal up just a little bit here. We went from 40 to only 49. What? Gives $2 per peg hit and heals us one per peg hit. Eh, it was okay. Uh, vampire pinball, some damage, some healing. Because we, yeah, we, we, we were really low, so I'm fine taking all these healing ones. Um... Heals one, gives us money. Sure, we can do that again. Oh, I oh I healed and took a hit. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, deals two damage per peg hit. Paints non painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get paint all over the place here. And by that, in like three places. <gasps> okay, we got our watermelon. We got our watermelon, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, go. I was hoping to go to the. Yes. 115 damage from that. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Let's grind out some money. All we need to do is 11 damage in three turns. So we have we have some leeway here to try to grind out some money or healing. Hey, slip. Um Okay, yeah, let's just let's just murder this dude. Let's just murder this dude. Breaking a lot of our pegs though. Got no Wi-Fi. Oh no. Um, deal two damage for each bro. Okay, let's just do the hammer. Make all broken pegs have a 20% chance to restore at the end of the turn. Um, let's lock the key. We want this to hit greens. Wasn't great. Oh, we're just fighting another reindeer. Um, okay, this is just a good amount of damage here. Gonna finish binding of Isaac. <laughs> I'm grinding. Oh no. Okay, reroll. Okay, you know what? Destroys all pegs hit, deals 100 damage per 10 hit. Do we think we can hit 10? This is so risky. No! No, we just broke seven pegs for nothing. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Technically, we have a chance of restoring, uh... Actually, yeah, we are gonna just be restoring a lot. Okay, here we go. We don't have a lot of pegs, which means this may give us money. Wait. It counts! <gasps> we got our watermelon. Okay, dude, we're about to obliterate this dude. Oh! 184 damage. This build is so good! This- this watermelon build is insane! Okay, let's get us some money via piggy bank. 
Um, and that's why that's why I like this game. Like, even though it has its flaws, um, I don't know. It's 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 got the like trying to break the game, get OP builds, you know. And right now we've discovered the power of the watermelon splitting stuff, you know. Oh, I'm about to die. I should probably pay attention to that, shouldn't I? Um, probably. Um, okay, $4 per, I don't know. I need some heals. Okay, we're going to upgrade the shop. A little worried, actually. Uh, push the enemy attack back by one turn per 10 pegs hit. Let's see if we can actually accomplish something here. Give me at least that. Nice. Okay, so we pushed his attack back one turn. Okay. We're going to lock down that shield pinball. Uh, Reroll. Cactus. Um, I'm going to reroll one more time here. Deal two damage on red. Okay, whatever. Just money, money, money. Three per... Oh, that was not great. Um, heal two for every yellow. We don't really have... Reroll. Four damage per yellow peg. Gives one dollar for every default. Dang. Yeah, that was actually... I should have just played the normal one. Okay, so he's about to attack us. So hitting 10 pegs blocks an enemy attack. And then we heal everything that we're, we were supposed to take. So as long as we can take 10 damage. Or hit 10. Nice, we're good. Okay, we block the damage and heal 24. That's good. Uh, deal one damage for every animal pinball played. I don't know how many animal pinballs I've played. I guess like animal is obviously like a whole synergy. So, okay, that's pretty good. Um, removes paint. All right, let's start painting things again. We don't have la last time we had a relics that were auto painting things. We gotta we gotta paint things on our own here. <sighs> um, gives two dollars and heals. Okay, yeah, so we can get some healing here. Hopefully, we can maybe try to find another shield or something. Because he's about to do 26 damage. Okay, hitting eight play pegs blocks an attack. I'm going to save that just in case. I would like to find something better here. It's a huge heal. You know, we'll just do a shield pinball. The problem is, is he's... Oh, you better at least hit eight. Oh, my gosh. We took the damage. Okay, I'm going to save that angel. Oh, gosh, guys. We're getting... I'm, a, I'm getting a little bit worried here. Getting a little, we need to kill this dude. I need a watermelon. Where's my watermelon at? Hey, 78 damage. That's decent. Torchic, are you okay? Hey, Fiction the First. Appreciate you following. 10% chance to explode on peg hit. If exploded, destroys all pegs hit. If unexploded, deals five. Okay, you know what? Sure. Because if this blows up, that's fine. Oh, I don't have any money. I was going to say I have the angel or whatever. Oh, am I dead? I'm gonna take 28 damage. Oh, I'm I'm. I might be screwed here, y'all. Um. Bankrupt gang. So if I do this, restore all broken pegs. Heals four for each one. Four, eight, twelve. Twelve plus seventeen would protect me from the 28. Let's see if I can actually destroy some pegs here with this too. So we can destroy some... Okay. No, but we're at 1 HP, baby! Okay, okay, okay. We are bankrupt gang, though, here. We are bankrupt gang. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna do 30... <laughs> uh, um... Okay, 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 okay. We need, we need a lot of damage here. We need a lot of damage here, please. 84, he's at 20. Oh, we got the coconut! We got a coconut, which is what our build is. Yes, that's going to kill. Problem is we're at 1 HP. Uh, increase the amount of domino pinballs. Make all pegs take half of the amount of hits to be destroyed. Two at the end of each turn. Okay, we'll do the dominoes. So, uh... That's a, pol that's a dope looking polar bear, though. <laughs> What's up, YouTube Frog here? Welcome. Glad you found us here on Twitch. Uh, we're about to die to a polar bear, probably. Unless we can uh, earn enough money to stop being bankrupt. 
Okay. Deals a bunch of damage. Can I heal here? Um, I don't have much money though. Reroll. Oh, what is that? Heals one for every two pegs hit? That's so bad, but I mean, we need some sort of healing. Oh, that was so bad. Okay, we're still gonna die. Um. Yikes, guys. Yikes. Um. Hitting at least eight pegs heals you for eight health. That's so bad, though. Okay, oh, okay, dice heal pinball, okay. Okay, give me a big heal. Give me a big heal. Ah, it only had a one multiplier. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, at least we're not dead to the polar bear right now. But we're dead to the polar bear probably later. Um, okay, $3 per. I just need to not be bankrupt. I... I wa oh, watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Here we go. No. That was so bad. That was so bad. Um Okay, three damage gives three per peg hit. So this is gonna do some damage and give us some money, hopefully. Okay, what is this? Deals ten damage per peg hit, destroys all pegs hit. Okay, yeah, let's use this. We're gonna take an absurd amount of damage, but maybe we can just try to bum rush this guy. I don't know. By that I mean doing sixty damage. Um Oh yeah, we're, we're at 2 HP. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Um, okay, $4 per peg hit. We do have to find a way to heal in the next four turns. Uh, heal one health per peg hit. Deals three damage. Heals three health. Gives three per peg hit. Can only hit five non-five. Okay, five non yet. You know what? I think that's that's still worth it. That's still worth it. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to play the other one. Same exact way here. Nice. Okay. Okay, we've we've recovered a bit here. There's an angel pinball I'm going to I'm going to save. Now we're going to try to break everything we can here. Um reroll reroll reroll. <gasps> oh, shield pinball. So if we can if we can what is it? 10 hits? Oh, I, I did that. Te no, I did that terribly. Dang it. Um, well, I could be a payout for the non-believers. I'm trying here though. Okay. Uh, vampire, kill me a little bit and do a little bit of damage. And by that, wow, that was, t that was pathetic. Okay. Five dollars, 50 minus whatever's happening. Problem is, is he's scaling up. Reroll. Deals 10 damage per yellow peg. Instantly breaks all non... Oh, okay. You know what? This is fine. Yeah, you can break all non-yellows. That's fine. Because then we'll just use that to heal up on the angel. So now you're going to do 15. Ooh, okay. Well, I will do a watermelon right now. Maybe I should have waited because we don't have any... Come on. Break, 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 break. No! Uh, one damage. Okay. Per animal we've played. It's pretty good. 89. Gives five. Okay, so we're gonna now um Angel Pinball. So this is gonna heal us to full probably. We can recover. No, it didn't even heal us to full. Um could give me money. It's gonna do 18 damage. Wow. We did actually not earn a lot there. Okay. Um, let's heal ourselves a little bit. Do a little bit of damage. Gives two, heals two, and does two damage per hit. You know what? That sounds, sounds, like a, sounds like a good, good thing. Nice. Um, I don't know. We got we to gotta get some cactuses. Oh, another one of the three-in-one pinball. Okay, I believe. Yeah, I always wanted to roll to the... Ooh, that, that was... That was good. That was good. Deals one damage per peg hit. If we get a multiple of three, it halves his health. Three. Nope. 
Um, Reroll. Cat, a watermelon pinball. It's time. Hundred and something damage. Hundred and something damage. Um, we'll do a domino pinball. I don't think we've really been doing any dominoes, have we? So I don't think dominoes are really going to be effective for us here. Um, Reroll. Wasting a lot of money on rerolls here. Um, I don't know. We could still throw here, though. I can't really reroll anymore. Um, heals 25 health. Heals one less per... Actually, let's just do damage here. Baseball is a decent source of damage. Um, deals eight damage per yellow peg. Unfortunately, we don't have too many painted here. Reroll. Uh, Reroll. Deals two damage per hit. Damage is tripled if at least half of the pegs are green. They are not. But two damage per peg. You know what? I'll take it. Ooh, that's a lot. We got a lot of... Wow! No, he's got 19 health. Dude, screw it. End with a bowling ball. You think I care about breaking these? We just yeeted a bowling bear at a polar bear. Let's go. That was so close. It was so close, but we did it. And now we have beaten Caves 2 and Christmas 2. So first episode, Cave 1, Cave 2, second Desert 1, Des Ocean 2. Then we have Caves 2, Christmas 2. And uh, now I guess we'll be doing Desert 2 and Ocean 2 uh, if we play the game again here on uh, stream. So um, I think this is obviously a good stopping point. And uh, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, if you want to see more Plinko Panic, let me know, please, 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 because it is a very relaxing game. I don't know why. I just freaking love this game. Maybe it's because I love Peglin so much. So I'm going to keep playing this game on my own unless you guys really like this video let me know and then i'll do them on stream otherwise it may be an offline game for me or something like that because i don't know i just something about this game the music i just love it definitely you know hope it gets updated to address some of the issues that you know we were talking about with you know all of the enemies feeling the same all of the areas feeling the same honestly for that matter um but it, it's still really really fun so can't wait to see you know how it gets updated and stuff like that so uh, let me know if you want to see more consider subscribing ringing that bell like all the big boy youtubers say to be notified uh, if more plinko pan videos come out if there are some they'll be on the screen right next to me and if you guys are going to be grinding out some plinko panic on your own then i wish you guys luck and see you all next time